This is from Ragad, beautiful teller, and she told this story and I just thought, wow, I love this. This is going to become one of my favourite stories to tell, I imagine. And this is the first time I've tried telling it, so I hope I do her justice. Crow was in the woods. Crow was quite satisfied being in the woods. Crow was a happy bird. Crow felt that he was possibly the happiest bird. But then one day he flew down to the pond and there was a swan, the most beautiful, graceful bird he'd ever seen with a big wide smile and white feathers. Ah, <sighs> thought Crow, this must be the happiest bird in the world. Look how graceful the swan is. Look how content. And Crow asked Swan, was Swan the most happy bird in the world? And Swan said, yes. I thought I was the most happy bird in the world until I met a parrot and the parrot had two different colours and I thought, wow, is that not beautiful? Two colours amongst the grey. Huh, thought Crow, that does sound like a happy bird. I should go and find parrot. And so Crow flew to the edge of the zoo. And there was Parrot, and Crow said to Parrot, Are you the happiest bird in the world? You are so beautiful, surely you must be. And Parrot said, Oh, you should go and see Peacock. If you think I am beautiful, then the Peacock is the most beautiful bird in the world. And so Crow flew over to where Peacock was entertaining the crowds with his train of beautiful feathers. And Crow said to Peacock, wow, Peacock, you are so beautiful. You are gorgeous. You must be the happiest bird in all the world. All these people, thousands of people come to see you every year and wonder at your beautiful tail and your iridescent colours. And surely you must be the happiest bird in the world. And the Peacock looked at the Crow said, oh crow, I wish I was a crow. I wish I was plain and free to explore the woods. I am stuck here in the zoo, in a cage for people to come and watch me. You have freedom and surely that is the most beautiful thing of all. I hope you've enjoyed the story. I hope I've done it justice to Ragad and to the other children in Gaza, the young tellers who have so many stories to tell and I hope that one day they'll be able to share their voices again.